Hey, what's going on guys? It's Monkey Bite here for MMOBomb.com. We're at the NVIDIA booth talking to the Warframe dads. I've got Rebecca and Scott here. Rebecca being the community manager for Warframe, Scott being the lead designer on Warframe. We're talking about the latest updates to go into the game, clan dojos, new features, etc. How are you guys doing today? It's awesome. Last day of E3 and we're just talking to people all day. All right, how are you? I'm good. A little bit tired, but really good. Now, you recently just, I don't know, last week or so, last two weeks, we announced uh, the dojo update, all of that, you know, it's your biggest content update yet. And then more recently, you announced that you're going over to the PS4. Can you talk a little bit about the update first, uh, what you're adding into it, and then we'll talk about sort of like the, the PS4 plans? Totally. Um, update 8 was our most ambitious update for sure. We added tons of new content, a lot of which came from his brain, so I'll let him uh, talk about his his baby, his Update 8. Yeah, uh, so Update 8 we added uh, Clan Dojos, which is basically the our clan can get together and build their own clubhouse. Um, there's 1v1 sparring in the uh, dojo, there is uh, weapon research, you know, some of the best weapons in the game are only available in the clan uh, dojo now. Uh, we added 22 new weapons to the game, we added a new Warframe, we added uh, Vauban, uh, which is the Warframe. We added, um, what else we had? We added two new art sets, we added the, uh, void. the Void, the Mysterious Void, where you can start getting some of the Prime gear through the game. Uh, the Grenier, the Grenier, Grenier Galleon set. set, yeah, sorry, my brain's <laughs> not working. Uh, yeah. So. Think, yeah. We added a ton. It's just yeah, so much stuff we yeah. added. You know, we're adding stuff every week, right? Like uh, we do our hot fixes usually Friday with our uh, Tenno reinforcements. Yeah, we actually did one just today. We came into E3 this morning, and I got a message from our lead programmer, and he was like, "Hey, we hot fixed, so the public yeah. build is running here. Update dates just getting 8.1.2 today. I think we did, which is a lot more fixes, more you know, little tweaks to all the stuff we're getting feedback on because our community just each." Every day, it's like here's what uh, here's what we think, here's what needs to change, and we'll try and reflect those as quickly as we can with our game. Yep. Now you talk about the community and how much they're involved with you guys. Can you talk a little bit about you know you mentioned that they're you're working on the uh, Warframe specifically with the community. Can you can you little talk a little bit about that? How the process works. What we've talked about in our live streams and stuff, yeah. I think um, basically we're like, guys, we're going to introduce a new Warframe. Let's let the design council, who are our biggest supporters in the game, really, let's let them choose it. So we gathered all their themes from them. So tell us what you want to see. We chose our five, and then we put it in a poll, and they voted in uh, the antimatter frame one. So we have some art coming to show the design council soon about what our lead character artist is going thinks it should look like. And currently, they're doing powers. So what are the four key powers of this frame going to be? And we'll do another poll and it's basically all going to be decided by our players which is awesome now the the dojo features we've talked about a little bit you know adding the ability to research and you know duel other people what are some of the the future sort of dojo features that you're implementing i know it's currently only in like the alpha version you want to expand on it more add more to it what what are the sort of like future plans uh well we're going to add some manufacturing abilities so you can uh, basically augment your foundry using your uh, clan dojo uh, we're going to be adding uh, more competitive rooms, uh, the parkour room that has been requested uh, many times. So basically we're going to add a parkour room with some leaderboards so the, you know, the clan members can get better with the wall running system and the, the mobility. Uh, yeah, basically whatever we can think up we're going to be adding. So you know, the uh, 1v1 dueling is the first uh, dip in the water for PvP. We're probably going to expand that and allow that to be like 4v4 like the game is set up for, so we'll be adding bigger sparring rooms. So yeah, we have, we have, we have some plans, but we're basically going to wait and see what the community says and what they're looking for and start adding that stuff. Okay, and uh, finally we're going to talk a little bit about the, the recent update that Warframe is of course headed to the PlayStation 4. It's being ported over, going to be free to play, uh, and it was just actually just recently announced that uh, free to play games on the PlayStation 4 do not require a PlayStation Plus account. I'm not reading your article last night on my Twitter feed, it was like MMO Bomb reveals that uh, PS4 PlayStation Plus is not required for free to play games, which was thanks for sharing because yeah, everyone. We didn't even know that. <laughs> we didn't know. So th there we go. And now everybody knows that Warframe, of course, is going to be completely free on the PlayStation 4. Uh, can you talk a little bit about like uh, how it's going to change for the PlayStation 4? Like uh, functionality, UI, same players? Uh, Honestly, it, well, the UI will have to be updated to work with the controller. Uh, currently, you know, the, the controller doesn't support, or the UI doesn't support a controller very well. We're updating that as we go. That's something we want to do for the PC version anyways, because we find our players are actually using the controller more and more, even on a PC, which is, is great that the game works that way. So the PS4 and the PC will benefit from these changes. Um, what else are we doing? 
Um, in terms of, the, sorry, now I'm trying to think of what else we're doing with the PlayStation 4. Um, we're doing a few different things with the touchpad of the new PS4 controller has that uh, touch screen. So our powers can be gesture based, which is really effective in the heat of battle. If you don't come through the speaker on the yes, controller. The, the Lotus now comes through the little microphone, sorry, the speaker input on the PlayStation 4 controller. So if you didn't like me right in your ears, now I'm right in your hands, which is a ton of And uh, is there any news or can you confirm whether or not uh, players will be able to play with their same account that they have on the PC version as well as the Sony version? Uh, as far as we know, we're going to at least allow them to transfer to PS4 if they would like to. Uh, ideally, we should be able to have the game talk together, uh, but that's something we're trying to figure out still. So we're still in uh, negotiations or the fact-finding stage to figure out if this is possible. Well, guys, it was really great uh, interviewing you and talking to you guys today. Look forward to seeing what uh, Warframe has in the future. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.